Oh, hey there, and welcome back to my home kitchen. I'm Zach Young, and I just watched this week's episode of Holiday Baking Championship, where the bakers were challenged to create a chocolate dessert with a surprise inside. So I'm taking this challenge into my own hands on this week's episode of Holiday Baking Championship Extra Sweet. Thinking about a chocolate dessert with a surprise inside, I thought, why not make a giant chocolate thumbprint cookie filled with cheesecake. So let's start with our cookie. All purpose flour, one and a quarter cup. We'll add half a cup of cocoa powder, not Dutch processed. The acidity of the cocoa powder here is important. We'll also add half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of cornstarch, it's gonna give this chocolate cookie a little extra structure because we are stuffing it with cheesecake. And half a teaspoon of kosher salt because salt and chocolate, mm, perfect combination. Just whisk that together. Cocoa powder likes to clump. So a little whiskey whiskey, break it up, call it a day. In my mixer, you can use a stand mixer or a hand mixer. We have one stick of unsalted butter at room temperature. Room temperature butter, when you're making cookies, making cakes, really important, don't skip that step. Quarter cup of granulated sugar and three quarters cup of packed light brown sugar. When you're measuring light brown sugar or dark brown sugar, you always wanna pack it into the cup to get an even measurement. The high ratio of brown sugar here will keep the cookie extra moist and almost fudgy. And our sugars and butter are creamed light and fluffy. That's going to add this lift to your cookies. To our butter and sugar, we'll add one whole egg and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Give a little scrape to our bowl. Wanna make sure that the butter, the sugar, the egg is all one even mixture. You don't want little pockets of butter in your cookie because it'll make it spread weirdly. We'll add half of our dry ingredients. Turn our mixer to low. And you don't want to dump all of your ingredients right now because it won't mix evenly. So we kind of temper the mixture with some of the dry, start incorporating it, and then we'll add the rest of the dry. It went from smelling like cookies in here to smelling like brownies. It's a baking costume change. We're mixing our cookie dough just until we see the flour and cocoa powder disappear. Being hypnotized by the mixer. <laughs> and now, let's double down on our chocolate. We have six ounces of white chocolate chips and six ounces of chocolate chunks. If you wanna use chocolate chips here, you totally can. I like the chunks, I like the size of the chunks, I like the melting surprise in the cookie. This week's episode of Holiday Baking Championship was about a surprise inside, so if you don't like white chocolate, you could use all dark chocolate, you could use milk chocolate, you can play with your chocolates, you can use you know, a chili spiced chocolate bar and cut it into pieces. Make your own chocolatey adventure. And I'm mixing these chips and chunks in by hand because I don't want to overmix the cookie dough. There you go. That was bad. <laughs> so we'll take our beautiful cookie dough and we'll scoop one third cup balls. So we'll make eight cookies with this. You can play with the size here, but I think there's something really fun about a jumbo cookie. So we have our eight balls of dough and we wanna shape these into one and a half inch high cylinders. So essentially we're making a little cup, a little well to put our cheesecake filling. So with your thumb, thumbprint, <laughs> we'll make about an inch little well. You wanna keep this cylinder high so the cookie has somewhere to spread. So once you have your little cup, you can roll it in some sanding sugar. You can use regular granulated sugar. You could use raw sugar or even powdered sugar would make like this kind of cool crinkle cookie. I would stay away from any sanding sugars that have color in them uh, because that color will bleed into our cheesecake filling. Trust me, I tried it. It's not cute. And you do wanna be careful about the thickness of your walls as you're making these little cups. You want them to be pretty sturdy. And now we'll freeze our cookie cups for 30 minutes to an hour for them to be totally, totally solid. 
And meanwhile, we'll make our cheesecake filling. This cheesecake filling, kind of like a cheese Danish filling, will start with six ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. So we'll just give this a little mix. And to our cream cheese, we'll add a third a cup of powdered sugar. And the powdered sugar in here is important because the cornstarch that's in the powdered sugar will help this filling thicken and set and be cheesecake-like. And you wanna mix this until it's nice and smooth. That will add one egg yolk. The yolk is going to help the cheesecake set as well. Half a teaspoon of lemon zest. The lemon zest here is gonna bring out the tartness of the cream cheese and give you that like cheesecake flavor. More cheesecakey. I'm also adding a pinch of kosher salt. You could also add a little bit of vanilla extract or strawberry extract to make a strawberry cheesecake. You can play with this cheesecake filling if you want. You want this filling to be nice and smooth. Beautiful. So I'm pulling out my nicely chilled chocolate cookie cups at this point and we'll fill them with our cheesecake mixture. I'm using a piping bag because you know I love a piping bag. You could use a zip top bag or even just spoon this filling in. And you wanna fill these just to the top. You don't wanna go over the top because then the cheesecake will kind of run everywhere and you won't have that perfect little crater. I have two parchment lined cookie sheets. We'll bake our cookies four to a tray because these are going to spread. So make sure you have a lot of space. So we'll bake these at 375 degrees for about 20 to 24 minutes until the cheesecake is set. Our cookies are done. The outside is crackled. That cheesecake filling is beautifully set. I will let these cool on the sheet for 10 minutes and then transfer to a wire rack to cool completely for about an hour. Oh my God. This is the best of all possible worlds, all right? You have like a fudgy brownie and then a crispy cookie exterior. This creamy, luscious cheesecake filling. This is like the perfect dessert for the indecisive because you get it all. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see what inspiration I pull from Holiday Baking Championship next week. I'm Zach Young, and this has been Holiday Baking Championship Extra Sweet and Extra Large.